In this video, I'll explain why asbestos in your drinking water is a health risk, how to find out if your family is at risk, and how to protect your family from drinking water contaminated by asbestos. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. We're hearing more and more about asbestos cement pipes installed decades ago and all nearing end of life are still not only in use, but are delivering tap water to Canadians and Americans. And as these pipes deteriorate and fail, bits and pieces of asbestos leach into your water and then contaminate it. Be sure to watch this video to the end to learn how to protect your family from that asbestos. Asbestos is a group of fibrous minerals used to strengthen the fireproof materials inhaled or injected asbestos fibers become trapped in the body these fibers cause diseases such as mesothelioma and lung cancer asbestosis has links to causing cancer more than 50 other countries have banned the use of asbestos water pipes and they haven't been installed in North America for over 50 years but those asbestos pipes are still in use in many communities now should we be concerned about asbestos in our drinking water Absolutely. As our water mains decay and natural deposits erode over time, they release those asbestos fibers into our drinking water. In addition to causing mesothelioma, the EPA shows long-term exposure to asbestos above maximum contaminant levels of 7 million fibers per liter also can increase the risk of developing benign intestinal polyps. According to the World Health Organization, most of the population of the U.S. consumes drinking water contaminated with asbestos but in concentrations low enough that it is unlikely to cause health problems. However, when asbestos levels in drinking water do rise above the maximum safe level, water suppliers are required to notify you, their customers, within 30 days of violation. 30 days? But do you still want to expose your family for 30 days? The United States Environmental Protection Agency, or the EPA, says asbestos fibers may be released from the use of asbestos cement pipes in water supply systems. The agency regulates asbestos in water. It maintains ingested or swallowed. Asbestos can cause lung disease and cancer. Health Canada says there's insufficient evidence that ingested asbestos is hazardous. Health Canada and the World Health Organization have concluded that there is no consistent, convincing evidence that asbestos ingested through water is harmful to your health. If you drink water contaminated with asbestos fibers, you eliminate the fibers, mostly through feces. For this reason, Health Canada has not established drinking water guidelines for asbestos. I don't know about you, but I want as little asbestos in my water as possible for my family. So how do you know if asbestos pipes are being used for delivering the water to you upstream of your home? And if your water supply uses asbestos pipes, well, you can contact your water supplier and ask them. Problem is, even if you don't have asbestos in your water now, that doesn't mean that as your pipes upstream of your home degrade and more asbestos fibers can contaminate your water in the future. Recently, W5, a Canadian news magazine television program produced by CTV News, spent several months trying to find out where these pipes are. They reached out and asked over a hundred towns, districts, municipalities, what types of pipes were in use and whether there were maps of these networks. Roughly 90% of the places that responded still used asbestos cement pipes. I've included a link in the description down below where you can check it out for yourself. But if you go onto the website and follow that link, then you can see um, where are the asbestos pipes delivering in Canada? So you can see there's this great map on here and uh, this map shows different areas and you can zoom into your area wherever you're located. You can see a lot of the concentration is in Western Canada. But if you scroll down even further, you can see some specific communities that have been identified. And uh, so you can see that uh, Prince George, British Columbia, um, they have uh, kilometers, 385 kilometers of pipe that's a lot of pipe and 68 or sorry 67 percent of uh the network um uses asbestos pipe and again i encourage you to check that out about your community the american cancer society says families can be exposed by either inhaling or swallowing asbestos swallowing asbestos can happen when we eat or drink contaminated food or liquids such as water that flows through asbestos cement pipes they go on to say that asbestos can increase the risk of some types of cancer specifically mesothelioma where the risk increases with the amount of asbestos exposure. 
Lab studies have shown that all forms of asbestos cause tumors in test animals. So can you have your water tested for asbestos? Absolutely. I'll put a link in the description down below where you can go to this lab and have it tested. Now having said that, just because your water test is having no asbestos now, doesn't mean that you won't have it in the future as those pipes degrade. A reverse osmosis drinking water system like this one will remove the asbestos and a whole lot of other contaminants from your drinking water. And to learn more about these reverse osmosis drinking water systems, I've got a link in the description down below. You can go to our websites, watereastore.com in the US or watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. Click this link to learn how reverse osmosis drinking water systems actually work and I'll see you there.